What's going down? Today we're going to be talking about the best free video editing software for slow computers. Huge, huge topic. Surprised it took me this long to do it, seeing as this is a problem plaguing my community heavily. Well, a certain section of my community. We'll get into that in a second without further ado. My name is Jack. I produce daily content based around video editing, videography, and how to make money making videos. Subscribe now if that sounds interesting to you. Today, just like I said, best free video editing software for slow computers. My biggest video ever, top three best free video editing software. It is a you know, 1.6 million view video within six months. Huge video, the biggest video on my channel actually. And it's got a lot of different versions of you guys in there, okay? Some of you have good computers, some of you don't, and some of you don't know that a good computer isn't good for video editing. So today we gotta break a whole bunch of myths and legends down and also give you guys uh, a little boot in the right direction and give you some software which is gonna work for you on slow computers and also show you a trick to make your current software improve in speed, whether it's a good software for, for bad computers or not. Very powerful episode without further ado. Let's jump into it. Now, something that needs to be stated right off the bat, video editing is in no at all way something that can really be efficiently done on slow computers. I'm talking about like real video editing, not just chopping the video in the middle and, and making a small clip. I guess that is technically video editing, but more video chopping, chops and cuts, really. I'm talking about video editing. A anything where you're making a proper production, a proper project, something that is not just a couple chops and cuts, you're, you're going to need a, a relatively fast computer. It just is what it is, right? And you can get around it, but you're going to have to sort of accept that you're dealing with a little bit of lag right now, and the future version of you is editing in smoothness, right? So if you uh, right now are just, you know, realizing, wow, damn it, it's clearly because of my computer, my program has been going a little slower. It is what it is. I was there as well. And uh, you know what I mean? All you can really do in that situation is make the most of it. Like I'm going to show you a couple tricks right now and a couple good softwares to look out for with the slow computer. And also just set in your sights to get better equipment. That's pretty much the moral of the story, right? So we're going to cover some software that is manageable and also how to speed up your program. So um, when you're going to get a video editing software, right? So you type in uh, you know, I, I assume people found my video, they type in free video editing software. Boom, they hit enter, right? So they've typed that in, they've hit enter. Now, obviously, because it's a free video editing software, you kind of mistakenly make the assumption that you can download any of them. What I would definitely suggest for you guys to do right off the bat, if you're still in the searching mode, is always check the minimum specs of the video editing software. Check the minimum specs, the, um, you know, the absolute minimum specs required, and then compare those to your computer. You could simply go to settings and at, under your computer tab, uh, you know, and, and find out details about your computer. You could see how much RAM you have. You could see how much uh, the graphics card you have. You could see what what bit your, your operating system is, all type of stuff, which is important information that you can then kind of just compare against the minimum specs of a program, which is always available on their website, always. And it's not hard to find. Just go to the about section, whatever the case may be, right? Um, so always first off the bat, when you're going to get a new software, whether it be video editing, graphics, whatever, whatever it is, animation even, on slow computers, always check the minimum specs. Make sure that it's going to be something that's going to be compatible with your computer. That's the very, very minimum. Obviously, when you start upgrading, you don't even need to check the specs anymore because it's assumed that your you know, program is going to be able to run on your computer. But when you're in the early stages, a lot of the time it's not the case. Now, software that runs regardless of a bad computer I'm going to break a couple down. Now, first off, if you are a Mac user, iMovie is a cool inbuilt software that honestly you're going to not do too bad using. Now, I've got a whole nother video breaking down iMovie. Uh, I've got videos breaking down all these softwares I'm about to talk about, so I'll leave all those down below. But iMovie is a cool bet if you're going for some simple chops and cuts, some simple little merging of clips and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, basically the more simplistic side of video editing, I think iMovie is going to not be too bad. I've edited a few things in iMovie myself, and I've actually got an awesome video that's like 17 minutes breaking down loads of cool effects you can do in there. So even though it's a free editor, you could still do a bunch of cool stuff, and it's usable. Next up is going to be VSDC. VSDC, shout out to my, my people over at VSDC. I got a good relationship with those guys. Um, it is a pretty good editor. It's by no means up to par with some top of the range stuff like Premiere Pro and stuff like that, but by all means, it is a cool video editor that you can do a bunch of cool stuff in, and it's not going to lag too much. It's going to be pretty easy to run on your computer. Again, I got a couple videos breaking that down over here. Um, I'm going to link all that down below again, and uh, they're pretty cool for YouTube, this software right here, or it's pretty cool for YouTube, rather. 
It's got some various different effects in there that definitely relate well to YouTubers, and that's kind of the angle that I've explored documenting these software based around in the past, all right? So VSDC, very simple, very nice. Uh, it does have a paid version, but there is a 100% free, totally free version, and uh, you know, make sure to look out for that, obviously, when you're purchasing it. Everything will be linked down below, including the programs, right, and the videos accompanying them. Finally, Shotcut. Now, Shotcut is on my other list, so a lot of you guys actually might even have it, and I'm actually going to show you a further method to make it run even better. Um, and I'm going to show you a further method to make all of these run better actually in a second. But Shotcut is a cool software. It's a free video editing software. Um, there's a misconception. A lot of people go to Microsoft Store, which is some nonsense place. I've never been there in my entire life. <laughs> and they, they look it up and it costs like eight bucks on Microsoft Store. Stop going to Microsoft Store. You're in the mindset of being on a phone. You don't go to a, a, an app store to get a, a program. You go direct to their website. You then download it. So that's where you're going wrong if you're one of those people. Um, you know, I'm making this a pretty general video because this is a massive topic on my channel. So you'd be surprised the different angles people are getting stuck on. You know what I mean? Um, so that's the reason I'm being so general essentially, right, with this. But Shotcut, totally awesome, fully free from their website. And uh, honestly, I think Shotcut, out of all these three right here, can do the most. You can easily do the most, but also it's going to be the most intense out of all of these here right here. So I think... Shotcut might have a minimum spec requirement of like four gigabytes or something like that of RAM. And, um, you know, I've got people on my channel who say they edit on Shotcut with like an i3 processor, all sorts of stuff. So I think Shotcut is supportive. It's a very supportive program. I think uh, you can get away with it essentially, right? And um, not to mention that it's available on Mac, Windows, Linux, everything. Shotcut is actually available on anything. So if you're the rare Linux user, right? Not a lot of people use Linux. I guess in the grand scheme of life, there's probably a big pool of them to do, but in terms of just the average person, not a whole bunch of people are tapped into Linux. But Shotcut supports you. So a lot of people on my big video, obviously in 1.6 million views, there's gonna be some Linux users and the Linux users were very vocal about being happy that I targeted them in uh, you know, that massive video of mine, the, uh, the top three best free video editing software. But all of these have big accompanying tutorials. So if you've now decided your editor, you said, you know what, oops, sorry desk, I'm a shotcut person, or you know what, I'm a, I'm a VSDC person now, or I'm an iMovie person now. All the videos are linked here, or those are the thumbnails there. Again, I'm sorry desk, this is a, it's a new setup, me recording these videos here, getting used to my space, but the thumbnails are there so you can see what they look like, and all three of those big videos, big tutorials are gonna be linked down below, breaking down those free video editing software. And finally, I want to show you a trick. So this, unfortunately, will only work to my Windows users. I'm not a Mac user, so I don't know the tricks of the trade in terms of speeding up Macs. Maybe you could find something similar to this on the internet, but I'm going to show you a trick to drastically improve the speed of a video editing software on Windows while you're using it, right? So all you have to do is go to Task Manager. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to right-click the bottom, uh, sort of little bar at the bottom, right? Go to Task Manager, click it, and you want to actually navigate to Details. Details should be on there, and you want to then find the program that is currently open, right? So you then want to right-click the editor that you currently have open, right-click. You then want to go to Set Priority, and it'll be on normal. You then want to change it to real time or high. And what this does is it allocates more processing power, more RAM, more graphics power. It allocates more power to this program. So it's phenomenal. It literally tells the computer to set this as a priority as, you know, basically, you know, say you got two programs running, you've got Google running and you've got, or Google Chrome running and you've got your editor. It'll set to the priority to the editor and say, you know what, screw Google, let's not give them much, much data, They're not, let's not give them much juice, for lack of a better terminology, let's give it all to Adobe Premiere, or let's give it all to Shotgut, or let's give it all to VSDC, let's give it all to whatever editor you guys are using. So, that's the final little trick of the trade, just to wrap it up, I think I wanted to provide as much value to my slow computer users as possible, I used to be you, it was such a struggle as a kid, I'm, I'm 10 years into my editing career, Let's say, damn near a year ago, I actually got equipment that's properly legit, realistically about three years ago, four years ago, something like that, where I first started getting good equipment after a good five, six years, seven years of just having to struggle. I used to do Cinema 4D animations on an Acer laptop that, in retrospect, I don't even know if the laptop had four gigabytes of 
of RAM. I used to fucking have to sit the laptop down and leave it to render for days, at least the whole night, the next day. You just have to not use the computer and let it render. Believe me, I share your pain. God damn it, the end of that clip corrupted, my bad. It's sweat, it's, it's hot as fuck down in the office, that's why my top's off right now, but the end of that clip just corrupted what I meant to say, and I have to end up, uh, because obviously I'm talking to all my people who are on slow computers, I was you too, it's all good, make do with what you got, this is some suggestions, and uh, you know, the future you is gonna be set with some nice, speedy equipment. Thanks for watching guys, take it easy, have a nice day, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. See you in another one.